Today's video, we're going to show you how to burn an audio CD with Windows Media Player. First thing you need to do is to get a blank disc. You have to make sure it's a CDR, okay? You can make sure it's a CDR, a CDRW. It depends. Let's close it. And and I'm just making a video. And then what you do is drag the songs that you want to. Uh, you have to make sure it's an audio file. You can only work with audio files, not video files. You can work with almost audio files. And then once you're ready, you click the stop burn button. And, and, and it gives you that little message that says, please insert a blank disk, which I already did. And let me go ahead and close your drive. This should take a second. You can see how much burn status. You should check a moment. There we go. Just checking to make sure that, that we don't have any errors. Okay. Alright. C R W. Yep. Make sure we got no errors on your burn list. Okay. This should take a couple of minutes for the burn process to complete. It depends on your burn speed and how many songs you are burning. Like, like most of the uh. Disc burners will have a variable speed uh, for the burning process. You can see. There she goes. It's going to start. You can hear the drive kicking in here in a second. There we go. Mommy, it's, it's initializing. Okay. You can hear the drive. Fire it up. You can hear it. I don't know. I don't know. You can see that red spot. Especially when using a CDR, it's uh, less visible to see that red spot. The speed is very, very different, just like the ones because it's a CDRW. Especially because, like it's a CDR, it can almost burn that very, very high speed. It depends on what driver you have. You can see. Wiring to disk right here. You can zoom in, in just a little bit. Wiring to disk 30%, 41%, burning 29% completed. You can see how much burn stat. You can see the uh, burn, burn progress bar right there. It, it, it is not that fast because it's a CDRW. Okay. It does take a while for the uh, drive to uh, finish the burn process. Cause it's just, so like, it, it does take a while for the... Uh, there we go. I thought I thought it have any I thought it does have any errors. So it, it does take a while depending on how, how many songs you are burning. Let's see. Yep. You can check the drive. There we go. I don't know. It does take that slow. Stuck that forty percent. See, still 40%, you can zoom in, you can see, willing to this, still 50%, 60%, I have a low battery, my phone is gonna die guys. One of my videos, especially when I'm recording this, will not be saved to my gallery. So, it's, it's just a 
40 minutes and 29 seconds CD. Yep, we burning it. Some burning some songs right there. You can see the uh, burn status. Forty-six percent completed. Yeah, forty-seven. You can see the burn status. You can see the burn status. <clears throat> it does. It does take a long time to complete because it's a CDRW. Mommy, 48% completed. Okay. 49.50. The noise you can hear is the mixer. Right, Mommy? Mixer. What you making, Mommy? Lemon cake for Mr. Lee. And for me, too? Make the one in me without the nuts. Make sure you make one without the nuts, okay? Yep, I'm just talking to my cipher about that, guys. I was talking to my mom to tell you that my mom is making my lemon cake. So, my mom will... I'm just talking to my mom to tell you to make them without the nuts. Make sure you make them without the nuts for me, okay? 66%, 67 68, 69, there we go, 70 percent. You can hear the drive kicking in. You, you can hardly even see that rich spot coming in. It's a, you can hardly even see it because when you're using a CDR, because on DVD plus R's and DVD minus R's, you can see that rich spot. Because depending on like which disc you insert it, well, like like it's a CDR. Oh, here we go. Up oh, there, I have an error, mommy. What kind of error? It says the burner may be already in use. So it didn't work. Yeah, it didn't Something like that. Like if you have an error, that's it. It could be an error with the uh. Like, uh, there's a problem, like, if the burner is already in use, you can wait until the burner is complete. Or, in this particular case, you can uh, close any other programs. I might close other programs. I don't know why, this should, should not interrupt. Otherwise, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to try a different disc real quick. So that disc won't I think this disc's a uh, decade old. What does the disc have to do with the burner? Meaning, do you have the burner open in two windows? Nope, nope. I have Windows Media Play and I, and I have Google Chrome and that's it. Google Chrome is the website browser. Let's try a different one, shall we? Yeah, you can zoom in and take a nice error view. It says verify that the burner is connected properly, which I did. Let's try that again, shall we? Because on CDRWs, you can rewrite them. I will show you. Okay? Yes. With no right? Hold on, let me stop this. Rip complete. Let's see. This should, this should take a second. Hold on. Make 
show you what to erase it. Okay, there we go. This should take a couple of minutes to, uh... Alright. It's gonna, it, it's gonna take a second. There we go. Start burn. Have to wait for a second. To recognize, to make sure it's a CDR. This should take a second. Okay, looks like it's detecting. Boom, there we go. Let's try it again. Alright. Okay, good. Let's try that again, shall we? It's preparing. If it doesn't... If it does do that again, I think I have to save it. Save it for later. Yeah. You can also, you can, uh, when it's burning your files, you can preview the tracks to make sure they sound good. You can remember that. I never had one that can do that. Especially if you press the play button, it's like that. It's going to start playing your songs like you. And it's kind of we uh, preparing to written to the disc. Let me maximize that so you can see the burn status. Yep. We should check them up. All right. Let's try this again, shall we? Let's see. Wheeling to disc. This should take a couple of minutes. Because the last is have an error. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I don't know why it doesn't take that slow. I think because it's a CDRW. I, I never had one that it can do things in CDRW. Like, oh my goodness. I never had one that it can do that. It's rewritable, so you can erase and overwrite it. You can rewrite the files to it too. I never had one that can do that. Yeah. So while we, so why are this is burning? I have to talk to you for about things that you may do not know about tricks you can do on CDRW discs. You can uh, erase and rewrite them. I never had one that can do that. It can just record once. Huh? I do not know that. I don't know. I do not know this can do that. Remember that? Hold on, let me focus. There we go. Especially if it's a CDRW, you can override it. You can erase and re and rewrite them. Like if you accidentally click the uh, cancel burn button, or uh, like if you press the wrong button, like cancel burn. Like if you want to organize one of your playlists. You can override it, and then you, and then you can rewrite them too. I do not even notice that, especially because if you see on the drive it says, I I don't know. You can see it says CD re rewritable, especially when it's a CD or W. R W stands for rewritable. R stands for rewritable also, right, mommy? R stands for rewritable, right? Yes. Especially on our W's, yeah, it can rewrite them. I, I never have one that can do that. Alright, hopefully this will do much better. I checked, make sure that we, that we close other programs I got. Yep. The speed is variable, especially because of the CDRW. Because on CDRs, we go that fast, very, very fast. You can feel it. I think it's vibrating a little bit, but not really, because it's not that very fast. Because it's as because on CDRWs, uh, for example, like if there's any vibration or rattling or something like that, it can slow your burn speed down just a little bit. In this particular case, so like this is how you're gonna protect your drive from right. Files to be written to the disk before the drive will interrupt the burn process. So this how, and that's how you protect it in case of like overburning and all that stuff. So, and, so in this particular case, I will highly recommend that you check and make sure that we have a make sure it's a CDR. When it's a CDRW, you can rewrite them. Oh, uh oh. Oh my, 
did it again.